What's going on everyone? Jack here from Half Chrome and this is the DJI Mini 4 Pro. I mean the Sky Annie X1. I mean the Sky Rover X1. Yeah, it can be confusing because what is currently happening, uh, because DJI can't sell drones in the United States, they found a way around it. They're doing what we call ODM, Original Design Manufacturer. DJI, in this case, uh, allows another company to put some tweaks on their product and sell it as their own. And I bought this guy as the Sky Rover X1 a couple months ago. It's a great drone. It's the Mini 4 Pro, just a little bit different, right? It's beautiful yellow. Uh, we're missing a light on the bottom and a couple of the AI return to home things. But otherwise, all of the good stuff, the camera, the ease of use, that's all DJI. And that's the same thing for this Sky Annie X1. They didn't even bother changing the color. It's the same as the Sky Rover, which is a really good drone. Um, and because it just released, they're actually running a special. You can get it for 606 bucks uh, or like 720 for the Flymore combo. Now I'm going to show you videos that I took with the Sky Rover and you can kind of decide if it's what you're looking for. But if you're looking for a mini drone, this is a really good one. Now is it as good as the Mini 5 Pro? No, but it's pretty darn close and this is really hard to get in the United States. This pretty easy. You can either buy it as a Sky Rover or a Sky Annie, but only on Amazon. If you're like, I don't trust either of these companies, do you trust Amazon? Do you trust their return policy? Because I do. I know if it's not right, they will make it right. So what do you have to lose? If you're looking for a mini drone, this is what I would do right now because it's the easiest option and it's still pretty darn impressive. Better than Potenzic, it's better than Femi, it's better than most other options that are also getting harder and harder to come by. So take a look at this. Now I'm gonna show you some footage that I put together from my Sky Rover, but again, same drone, just a different name. So the Sky Annie slash Sky Rover slash Sky, who knows what the next name will be, basically shares the same specs as the Mini 4 Pro. So if I kind of go back and forth between Sky Rover and Sky Annie, well, they're the same thing. It's sub 250 grams, so you don't have to register it with the FAA. It has a 4K camera here. You can shoot native vertical video, so this thing tilts around for that. You've got omnidirectional obstacle avoidance. It has a 15,000 meter range. That's like nine miles, 32 minute flight time, GPS, and a bunch of intelligent flight modes. And the first thing I think you need to consider is, is this a decent value? Now, right now, it's really hard to get a DJI drone. They're not for sale on their website. They're in and out of stock on Amazon. And right now, this guy is available. And sometimes they say the best ability is availability. Available, and it's not ridiculously priced. That is point number one for the Sky Rover. Now, the second point is... It's DJI quality. This is really good. I think pound for pound, the Mini 4 Pro is the best value or was the best value in terms of a drone that you could buy. You really want a sub 250 gram drone. No, it's not the best, but you don't have to worry about all those regulations, registering it. If you travel to Mexico, you can't bring a drone that's over 250 grams. There are a lot of different rules in the United States and in other countries where you want a sub 250 gram drone. I reviewed a handful of other recent sub 250 gram drones and they're fine. Femi, LYZRC, Holy Stone, Snaptain, they all make a version, but none of them are even sniffing what DJI can do, or in this case, Sky Rover. So the camera is great. The flight modes are fantastic. The tracking feature is pretty good. No, it's not the best out there, but it is pretty darn impressive. So here I'm doing some active track, just following myself, but I'm walking through the trees, under the trees, around the trees, making this difficult for it to follow me uh, intentionally because I want to see how it would do. And it reacts much like most DJI drones do. It does a pretty decent job, but at some point um, it will lose me and I'm going to go until that happens. And, and actually it didn't lose me here. It just decided the path was too narrow. You can see that there. So we're going to do it again this time uh, with it moving backwards just to kind of see, you know, how well do those rear sensors work? Sometimes that is a little bit harder for drones and it's kind of hard to see, but I'm really putting it up there into the, the trees. But 
it, it did eventually lose me and I was getting a little nervous there. I want to show you a few of those different flight modes. You know, some of my favorites. Droney is one of my favorites. You can kind of set the distance. You choose the subject, you click a little button, and then it, it, it sh you know, it just does the thing you asked it to do. And then, you know, some drones, after it gets to that point where uh, it's done, it stays there. Uh, I'm not going to show you the whole thing, but it does come back to where it started. So droney is one that I like. Uh, the circle is one that I like. You can change which direction you want it to move. Uh, I think that's a nice one. You can see there, it, it kind of just kind of picked a fixed point after it kind of lost me there. And then the rocket is another good one. Those are the three that I think you should definitely check out. Asteroid is another cool one that exists. Helix. I'll show you the asteroid in the, the video later, and I'll actually show you the the actual uh, footage that it recorded uh, from these videos uh, it, later later as I, as I talk some more. So you don't want to look at my face, but I just want to show you how some of these flight modes work. So if you want a drone that you can fly anywhere and takes good pictures and videos, this is a really good option. DJI is clearly the leader when it comes to drones because their hardware and software is just leaps and bounds ahead of the competition. This has that baked into it. But I know people are going to say, listen, I don't want to buy a drone that I don't know. Of. I don't know about the company. And I get that. That's fair. But to your point, there are a couple of things you can think of. One, no, there isn't DJI Care Refresh, but you can get a package from Amazon. You can get care or a warranty, an extended warranty from Amazon. And that's probably a better deal than DJI. Or if you wanted to, you could actually put it on your home policy. Both of those are options. You don't have to worry about DJI. Right now, if you send a drone back to DJI for care refresh, there's no guarantee it's coming back into this country. Would I buy this drone? Well, I did buy this drone. And should you? Again, I'm not going to tell you whether or not this is the drone for you. But if you want a sub 250 gram drone and you really want the best and you don't want to deal with this hassle that is trying to get a DJI drone, definitely a solid option here. Hey, I hope this was helpful. If it was, give me a thumbs up. If you're looking for one of these drones, I had a link down below. They are affiliate links. They help support this channel. Good luck, everyone, and happy flying.